Priests say there are now more trained exorcists in Mexico than any other country, and I wanted to see one of them at work. In ecstasis, como medium. Father Francisco Ugalde is one of Mexico's most famous exorcists. He performs mass exorcisms, and people travel from across the country to see him. And he told me that sometimes members of the drug cartels attend his services. He has more credibility than most. The Vatican sent one of their leading exorcists to work with him two years ago. And he's nervous of us filming, because he says the Vatican would not like it. Before long, people are vomiting, writhing on the floor and screaming, all evidence, Father Ugalde says, of demonic possession. Have you ever felt afraid when facing the devil? Muy al principio, no puedo negarlo, claro que sí, es una realidad terrorífica. Es una realidad, la define el Papa Paulo VI como una realidad espiritual de un ser espiritual perverso, pervertido y pervertidor del género humano que actúa en las distintas circunstancias de la vida del ser, de, la, de los hombres. The Vatican says that before an exorcism, the person said to be possessed should be examined by a mental health professional. But I've seen no evidence of this happening. And not everyone in Mexico is convinced that the church's focus on fighting demons is helping the country in these troubled times. Ismael Vázquez is a psychiatrist and a teacher in Mexico City. He specializes in schizophrenia and has treated people who think they are possessed. Hay dos escenarios fundamentales básicos. La epilepsia que pueden convulsionar los las personas que tienen epilepsia, vomitar, tener eh, reflejos vagales como si estuvieran posesionados por el demonio. Y existe el otro escenario que es no menos eh, importante, que es la esquizofrenia. Y en ese caso pueden tener visiones, ver imágenes que no existen, escuchar que les habla la Virgen o el demonio. 